We actually signed the lease here about a month before the pandemic and we had five semi-trucks full of material that sat there. Here came COVID, there went John Carter's idea. A delay, but go pixel yourself, opened in November, and then you guessed it, another pause in the action. And then we were closed in December because we had the title museum, and then we were reopened again in February. It didn't stop the sculptor, designer, and inventor who is known for his work with DreamWorks and animated holiday window displays. And as a former Bostonian now living in New York, he found a corner of the Cambridge side Galleria to unfurl his latest vision, 13 themed rooms, including 9 million pixels where art, like a quarter covered couch from Carter's close friend, Johnny Swing, meets technology, meets you, or in this case, me. You say my nerves and you ran on my brain. A selfie museum designed for the fun of its visitors. It's really like we took Times Square in an amusement park and crammed it at the end of a mall. And clearly I had to indulge from spinning in the laundromat, hi photographer Tim, to an actual airplane co-starring in an action movie, dancing with a Yeti to... Let's get it clean. But it's been hard during the time of COVID and they intend to maintain the safety with the thrills as restrictions are being lifted. So we can have lots of different groups at the same time and you don't interact with any other group. So if you're still feeling uncomfortable, this really was the first place a lot of people came during the pandemic because they felt safe here. So we're gonna keep it that way. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it and you especially. Thank you everybody. In Cambridge, Josh Brugadier, WCVB News Center 5.